Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you're having a wonderful day. God is good and worthy to be praised. And I thank God for being alive and listen, spirit filled, spirit filled. I'm filled with God, the Holy Ghost. And I thank God for a mind to be a Christian, a born again believer in these last days. And I tell you, I have the peace of God and the Lord is seeing us, seeing us through. Here we are in the first month month of the new year. And this is probably the last time I'll say it to you. I said it last time, but happy new year. I'm glad that we're together. I'm glad that the Lord has allowed us to live. I'm glad that God has raised us up, raised us up and he's using us in a day like today. My friends, I tell you, the Lord is calling for us to stand on his word. The Lord is calling for the church to be the example. I want to recommend that you check out the article uh, that Christianity Today just put out. They uh, interviewed me and, and, and others about uh, uh, churches being closed and people being encouraged to stay away from the church. Well, the church house is not a poison house. The church house is not a deadly house. Uh, a, a great number of people haven't died from COVID as a result of going to church. As a matter of fact, very few died as a result of, of, of attending church because the churches were closed. And, uh, and Jesus said that his house would be called the house of prayer for all men. And Hebrews tells us not to forsake the assembly of ourselves together. The Psalm says we're to enter into uh, his gates with thanks giving and into his courts, the courts of the temple with praise and be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. So I'm excited tonight about blessing the name of Jesus. I'm excited about being a born again believer in a day like today with the, the pandemic, with all of the variants, with everything that's going on. Jesus is Lord and the God of the Bible is in charge. And you know what? I'm speaking to someone right now. I sense it in my spirit, Brother Gary. I'm speaking to someone right now who needed to hear that. It's not deep. Praise the Lord. It's nothing uh, that you haven't heard before, but a word fitly spoken, a word spoken in season will bless your heart real good. And sometimes with all of the things that life can bring your way, sickness, layoffs, disease, uh, uh, family problems, problems in the home, problems at work, problems in the nation, problems. You know, we have a 24 hour uh, uh, a day media uh, and many of them are dedicated to giving you bad news. They're going to make sure you don't believe that this is a good day. Well, turn those people off and look beyond all of that stuff and see through all of that. And you will see that the, the Lord is, uh, is, is high and lifted, lifted up and his train fills the temple and his glory is everywhere. Praise the Lord. Now I'm excited. I'm excited. I want to send a tremendous thank you and appreciation to someone whom I do not know because uh, a, 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 a one of our very fine viewers uh, did something that was so kind and I enjoyed it. Uh, the staff enjoyed it. They uh, uh, want to remain anonymous and we certainly respect that. But they got in touch with the church and said, Bishop Wooden, you're feeding the world. So I just want to do something to feed your staff. And they blessed us real good. And I want you to know that, uh, uh, that we sat down as a staff and we did eat. <laughs> Thank you for just showing such kindness. Thank you for your prayers. What a kind gesture. And uh, uh, we won't even say where the person is from, because if they want to remain anonymous, then you don't want to stop dropping hints and that kind of a thing. But I do want to acknowledge your generous gift and your thought uh, you, that you thought about us in such a, a kind way. I, I find that uh, our audience, the people whom we speak to, the people who 
who watch us and follow us on a regular basis are some of the finest people in all of the world and in all of the body of Christ. And this preacher thanks you from no matter where you're from, near or far, for your patronage and uh, for your prayers, for your support, and for you standing for Jesus Christ where you live, for you letting the world see that there is a difference in the life of the believer and the life of the unbeliever, that we handle things differently, that we handle crises differently, that we pray and there's power in prayer, that we fast and there's great disciplining in turning your plate down, that we are believers who are not controlled by the whims and the ways of this world, but we are controlled by the scripture. We're standing on the solid foundation of God's holy word. Now, I'm excited about tonight. I tell you right now, we're going back tonight to the triumphant life. Last week, we had uh, our uh, in-house uh, leadership conference. The theme was influence. And I tell you, it was a tremendous week. And we came to a tremendous conclusion. And God blessed us, my friends. Last week, despite the weather, we had church. The Lord opened the door and made a way for us to be able to do both services. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing us to be able to come to the house of the Lord. I'm just going to tell you before I go, before I sign off, I love church. I love church. I'm a born again churchman. I love church. There's not an NFL player. There's not an NBA player. There's not a major league baseball player. There's not an actor nor an actress. There's not, there's not a politician. There's nobody out there who loves what they do anymore. I love what I do. I love serving the Lord. I love the church life. I love being a part of the church of God in Christ. I love being the pastor. What a privilege it is to pastor the upper room church of God in Christ. I love God for blessing me uh, to do these things. And I thank God for blessing me to be an American. I love my country. And I'm praying for my country. I'm praying that God would save, heal, deliver, set free, set right things that are wrong. Yes, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I love Israel. Oh, God bless and send revival to that nation. I thank God for my wife. I love her and my family. Oh, my. I have so much to be thankful for. And my friends, so do you. And I praise God for the miracles that the the Lord is performing. I want you to keep my spiritual mother, Mother Willa Dean Turner, lifted up in prayer that God will heal her body and restore her. You know, I, I feel late that you have to say this. It's not COVID related. As a matter of fact, uh, one of our dear mothers, Mother Walker, God blessed her. She went home from the hospital today. One of our dear mothers, Mother Smith, we're keeping her lifted in prayer. And and uh, and if it was COVID related, uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm resisting this this push uh, in the world today, where every time something happens, somebody says, "Is it COVID? Is it COVID? Is it COVID?" Some people are saying COVID more than they're saying Jesus, but there's no power in the name of COVID. Now, at least there's no power to heal. There's no power to deliver. There's no power to set free. But the power is in the name of Jesus. Join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> Yeah, you guessed it. Yes, I'm all excited about it. And uh, the saints are excited about it. And uh, we're going to come and we're going to study the word of God together. If you can get here, come on. We, we Last Thursday night, we had a loving couple to drive from Virginia to be in the service. And they stayed for the for the Thursday night service. And then we had our Saturday gathering with our uh, uh, in-house revival. And they stayed for that. And you know what? That loving couple made their way out, a senior couple, to be here uh, at the upper room last Sunday morning. 
uh, at the 11 o'clock service. So I'm glad that I didn't cancel service because those people, they came and God blessed them and he blessed them to get home safely. What a mighty God we serve. I love you, my friends. Meet me tonight right here for Bible study. We're going to walk in the word of the Lord together. We'll see you tonight.